Welcome back to JDM Legends, presented by Turn 14 Distribution, where today we get to work on this thing. If you guys watched the first episode in this series, then you'll know that this 1993 JDM right-hand drive Supra is a little rough around the edges, but it's got good bones underneath. There's no rust on this car, but the paint is in pretty rough shape. And it's got a big single turbo conversion on it that's incomplete. It's still got the factory ECU in there. There's lots of little issues with it that are gonna need some attention, including an automatic transmission that I wanna get rid of and put a manual in there. So there's lots to work to do, and I think the logical place to start is the paint. We really need to give this thing a cut and polish to see just how bad it is, and then we can decide if it needs to be repainted or if we need to vinyl wrap it, or maybe we can just like re-clear certain areas. We but, won't but know. Before we do that, Dave, I, I have a, a pretty big announcement, so let's switch spots here because I wanna tell everybody about this. After a glorious test drive of the Skyline GTR and it being so new and fresh, I kind of started feeling bad for you, DP, because you've got a real fixer upper here. There's gonna be a lot of work that's gonna be involved here, specifically with the five-speed swap. And I also don't feel like the five-speed is, you know, it's, it's not the Getrag six-speed, which kind of sucks. So anyways, I started feeling really bad. And uh, at that point, I thought, you know what? I'm gonna get you something that I think is going to level the playing field a little bit. All right, DP, we're on the road here. Uh, do you have any inkling as to what I may have purchased you? Man, I, I don't know. Uh, it's a weird one, but I mean, we've talked about buying an NSX before, and if this is gonna be like our dream JDM builds, the only thing I would want more than a Supra would be an NSX. So maybe it's an NSX, In although your... frankly, that's a big, budget item right now, so <laughs> I'm probably dreaming on that. I, I mean, I'm a Honda guy, so maybe like a DC5 Type R or something along those lines? I, I have no idea, man. I'm, All just, right. I'm just spitballing. Well, here. you know what? Like, uh, I think you're you're lukewarm. Okay. With, uh, you know, Is part of four it? wheels? Part of it. Yes, an engine? yes, yes, okay. yes. It, it so does have that. And let's just say it might be good for an engine swap, but it's potentially a momentum car. So. A momentum car, okay. So, uh, yeah. Mm. It, it, an S2000 is kind of a momentum yeah. car. Yeah. We've talked you about never know, an, NS, an NSX could, is also like yeah, it doesn't have a ton exactly of power. Car, but yeah, true. yeah, it would yeah. fall in line with the JDM yeah. Legends. Yeah. So, but, um, mm. well. I don't know, man, I'm at a loss. <laughs> that's, that's all good because that makes this surprise all that much better. Well, wh wh what do you think? I, I, I thought we were coming here to collect the NSX of my dreams, Peter, so. I, I mean, uh, this is, <laughs> this, uh, it's a Honda, right? It's a Honda. It's a Honda. It is, oh, is it ever? It is one of the most unique Hondas I've ever seen in my life. I didn't even know they made these. For those of you who don't know, this is a Honda City, mid 80s, I think 84 is the it's first a year. It's a mini JDM legend, man. It, it is, and it's a Cabriolet, which I didn't even know existed. <laughs> I mean, look at that, everyone. It's designed by Pininfarina, legendary Italian design house coming together with Honda. I got to admit, it, it is a dream car of sorts. I, I don't know if it was ever a part of my dream, but well, what, what was he, your thinking here, Pete? The logic was, you know, the, I figured a Honda would be up to your speed in yeah, terms of being yeah. able to work on. This thing looks super simple. It does. And uh, I figured, you know, maybe a K-swap and we'd be at a power to weight ratio like the, the Skyline GTR. You like, might that's... be surprised. In a straight line, it'd be pretty quick with a K, although. I don't know if you can fit a K in the front end of this thing. It's like the uh, engine bay is about this far, and it's going to be like a an Audi with the motor in front uh, of the front you know, axles. But all the YouTubers just leave the hoods off anyway, so true. we we could also do okay. that. But let's let's take this thing for a ride. I think you may be surprised. All right, are you ready for this experience? Man, I'm I'm actually remarkably stoked about how silly this little car is. So. Give it a chance, it might turn out to be the, the JDM legend that you've always wanted to work I mean, on. I, I can't see myself turning hot laps at TMP in this, but uh, if the beach was nearby and we we're going for a cruise, you know, I'm, I'm into it. Yeah, so this thing doesn't have any insurance, which means we can't really drive it too far, but right. uh, you can putt it up and down the driveway here. Oh, I will. And uh, by putting, I mean it does feel like it certainly putts, but... So there's no power steering. Yeah. I guess in a car this small and light, you probably don't need it, but... Uh, I don't know, PT. I'm, I'm, I'm strangely into it. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like maybe I'm like, I don't know, on Sanibel Island in Florida. I'm gonna go golfing with, you know, my homie here. And can we fit golf, golf clubs in the back of this thing? Maybe not. I, I don't know. Oh, 
I'm gonna God, see if you can steering is so heavy. Do, do a uh, turnaround yeah, here, yeah? yeah. yeah. That's yeah. the extent right. of our, our test drive right there. Yeah. Well, just, mean, just give it a little bit of pep. You might, you might feel it. Oh, yeah. See, it's peppy. She's a ripper. Well, it's a Honda. It's yeah. Gonna, it's gonna feel quick and nimble. That's what they Look do. Yes, we've got our own little racetrack and oh, set yeah. it up the side here. Ripper on side here. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, it does feel nimble, man. It's not bad. It really isn't. For a mid 80s Honda with yeah. uh, probably well below 100 horsepower, it actually feels pretty good. My kids would love, love to go for a drive in this. <laughs> I'm not going to lie though, PT. If I'm going to buy a Honda City, it's going to be a Turbo 2. I don't think I can afford one with a Moto Compo in the back, but. Um, Hey, I'm not, I'm not going to complain if, if this is uh, uh, if this is really the, the plan. Listen, I'll, I'll, if, I'll roll and with if it. I was buying you a Honda City, I would have purchased you a, a real one, I not mean, this Cabrio one. That so, would be the case. Um, the joke's over. Okay. I do actually have a car here that will be more up to what you would be expecting right, at this point. All right, let's see where this curveball goes. Now that the joke's over, what do you think, DP? This is the the new toy. This is the actual toy here. Is this a scenario of like, what's better than one Supra, two Supras? What maybe, maybe. So this is a true six speed car. Okay. I figured we needed a proper challenge with both manuals and like this is the top tier Supra. This is the six speed Getrag. That's right. And nice. this one, if you open the hood there, yeah. it's all stock. We're not gonna need to muck around with it. You're gonna be able to just you know, oh, yeah. bolt on the single rather than have to take all that other stuff apart. So, so. still the twin setup. Yep, yep, yep. It's got like a little HKS intake here, but yes, I, otherwise yes. it looks stock. And truth be told, this one came up for a heck of a price as well. Okay. But it does have two issues, one which you'll be familiar with, all and right. the other one, uh, I'll, I'll let you figure that one out on your own. All right. Of course, the battery's dead, so we did have to jump it. All right. All right, uh, yeah, let, let's see if it starts. First, okay. let's see if it starts. Okay, here we go. Nothing. Oh yeah, okay, okay, and there's the first problem. It's a smoker, DP. Oh no, valve seals? Yes, valve seals. Well, you're a pro at that job. Well, we're gonna You've done to... it twice now on the M3, right? Yes. So yes, well, let's make it a third time then. I'm for yeah. it. Yeah, it you can see good it, otherwise, is, it is just, whew, there is a lot of smoke there. Now, uh, the next problem is if you uh, go ahead and try to move it. Go ahead, yeah, yeah, yeah just put it into wood. Yeah, first gear, wherever you like, and uh, yeah. Release the clutch there. Nothing's happening, DC. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it a little more gas. Maybe that'll help. No, nothing's happening. The clutch is broken, I assume. Yes. Okay. Yes. We, there is something wrong with the clutch in this car, which is why it was uh, such a good deal. Because the guy said he killed the clutch, which I hope is the case here. Because yeah. as you can see, you're still in gear here and yeah. the car is not moving. If you put it no. into like third, sixth, whatever, it doesn't matter. And then if you just... The gearbox you know, feels good though. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope it's. it's the clutch I, I hope it's a clutch. So we, we could be into yeah, something we were else. We going to change the clutch anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Wow. Well, can I also say I think part of the reason you got such a good deal on it is this hot boy steering wheel because this thing is truly hideous. It's too, way too small. It's chrome with these little chrome stripes here. It's terrible. So. Um, but otherwise, this is a big win, PT. The paint on this thing is in great shape by the look compared to the black car. So. Yeah, well, are you happy? Are you happy I'm, with this purchase? Uh, I'm kind of blown away. I assume we are then going to sell the black car. Well, okay. let's let's get this thing back to the shop here, and then we can discuss a little bit more. All right, my brain is still processing, but uh, this is very cool. Red is a win. Yeah, yeah. Can you stop there? You gotta go this way, Pete. Too late now. Well, we are back at the shop and uh, you've had a little bit of time to digest uh -huh. the new vehicle. Yeah. What, do you, what do you think? Well, I mean, wow, it's a pretty huge upgrade over the black car, isn't it? I mean, obviously the Getrag is the big one. Right, yeah. I, You know, thinking yeah. about it now, you've got a top spec, you know, V-spec GTR, and this car was always gonna feel slightly handicapped, slightly, like a slightly lower tier with that five-speed exactly. swap. Exactly. smaller Yes, gas. yes, yes. So, in, in terms of like having a true like legend status Supra, 
This is the spec you want, isn't it? It is. And it, it is. looks awesome in red, and it's in way better shape. Yeah, there's going to be, be less work. downtime for us to do on like you know fixing this car versus modifying it. Yeah. I think. Yeah. Where this car really is a fixer upper, mm -hmm. and then we would have had to modify. So yeah, I think it was the at the end of the day it was the it was right. Bunch of it, it was the right call. Uh, it necessarily wasn't as cheap as this one. I didn't expect. I am really curious what it cost. I don't know if you want to tell the people. No, no, you know what? I'm going to leave it for next episode when we go into a deep dive on this car because I truthfully haven't had a good look at this car. It was like, car came up, I had to be there quick yeah. and buy it because there was a lineup of other people. So uh, I'm curious to just like look underneath it and kind of like really give it a full inspection, yeah, which we will too. do next episode. But I guess that, uh, I'm sure so many of you are wondering, what are, what are we doing what with this do car? What you do with two Supras? Yeah. And before you all start emailing me about it, you know, being for sale, yeah, yeah. patience, the car is not for sale yet. We okay. do have, I've kind of like come up with an idea and I think what we're gonna do is put it back to stock-ish trim, like get rid of the single, it is an automatic for us to try to like get that thing running properly. I just don't think it's worth yeah. the time and effort. I wanna make this into a, a nice automatic okay. cruiser, like a GT car okay. with you know the, the typical upgrades, like the BPU upgrades on these. So go back to twins okay. and you know clean it up, make it look good. So maybe we take the twins off of that and swap them in Maybe, here. maybe, yeah. We've got a bunch of other engines. So there, are, there yeah. are twins floating around. We do have parts. I think we'll take parts off of this car that we won't use and put it on that car, but um, I think idea. that's kind of the idea, like build this into a, a, a very you know modest mm -hmm. Supra, but more drivable and more enjoyable with an automatic right. versus you know having to try to do a, a, a five-speed conversion so on an it. OE Plus old yes, man yes. Supra Cruiser, I like yes, it. Yes, 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 yes. It, it'll be like the Flexus, but with only two doors. Yeah, I, maybe, you, you, you never know, you might like this one better <laughs> than this one, man, huh? <laughs> You will find out. <laughs> I don't know, I think that one's pretty special. And, I don't normally love red, but on this car, it looks amazing. I know. I know. I'm, I'm more pumped to cut and polish that car than I am this one, just because I know how good that's going to look yeah. with cut and polish. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Well, uh, thanks, man. That's a big surprise. I was honestly not expecting that. So, uh, But I'm super stoked on the potential this has, as far as like just being a, a good stable mate and a good uh, rival to the yeah, I think so, cars. exactly. I think the contender, mm -hmm. it, we've like leveled up with the, on a more level playing field, GTR versus Supra, which ultimately is what we want to do here. Yeah. We want to make sure, you know, we take both of these cars to the track, we put them through some tests, they, they kind of perform at their best with what they're given from the factory. Yeah, people won't be saying, oh, but it's only a five speed. Exactly. Yeah, started There's going to be no excuses at this point. Right. So. Right. Anyways, I think we're gonna wrap that one there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Certainly, if you enjoy the content, make sure to like and subscribe because you can see now the stable has grown here. And there's gonna be some seriously awesome content yeah. coming up no in the, the next few episodes. And you guys will slowly find out where these vehicles are headed towards.